Who's that? Let's see. If he start talking, it'll probably pop up at the end. Yeah, he's on there. Yeah. All right. Okay, go ahead and get started. One, two, three. All right, guys, you're tuning into Lucas Region Podcast. We are now with the great group of guys and one lady in charge. I'd like to say, we hire every great woman, every great, every great man is a is a great woman. We are talking about the queen's men and the queen herself. How y'all doing? What's up? Doing good. Doing good. good. Right. Let's get everybody to introduce <laughs> themselves so people know who you guys are. Let's start with the queen herself. Um, hi, I am Avanette Talbert. I am the queen. Uh, I wear lots and lots of hats for the queen's men. Um, manager, booking agent, sometimes mama, sometimes confidant, um, designer, stylist, you name it. I'm it. I am Stephen Manns. I am one of the original Queensmen. Uh, I've been here since the beginning. Um, just happy to be in the mix. Okay. I hey, am, and no, I am brother. Cedric, Mr. Superstar Thorn. Um, I am the newest member of the Queensmen. Um, and you know, we're here. We are here, and we are here to stay. I'm Cleveland Wilson, um, Mr. Model Mentor, Mr. North Carolina Fashion, um, recording artist, actor, um, one of the original Queensmen, and I'm here to stay, and I'm happy to be here. So, Queen, how did you come up with the idea for this group? Um, so about a year ago, I went to a model call for a show that was in Vegas, just went to the model call. That was all. Mm -hmm. Um, and somehow I ended up producing the show. So I called a couple of guys that I've worked with before, asked them if they would join me in Vegas. They jumped at the chance. We went to Vegas, we did our thing, but everybody was asking me what our name was and I did not have a name. So I kept saying, they kept saying, oh, Avanette and the guys. So I just said, we, we got to come up with a name, guys. Like everybody is saying Avanette and the guys and I didn't like that. So I said, let's come up with a name. So we came up with the Queensmen, but I had no idea, no clue that the Queensmen would be what they are today. It, it just started with a show in Vegas. That's all it started with. Uh -huh. Um. And now it has evolved to New York Fashion Week, LA Fashion Week. Um, we're on our way to Miami Swim Week. We're doing, we're headlining the cruise ship in June. Um, we just came back from London Fashion Week. So it, it has really taken off. Um, there was a shift last year in September at New York Fashion Week. And God clearly said to me, I am going to change things suddenly. And suddenly the doors have been opened. So it didn't even start with a name. It just started with a couple of guys that I've been on the runway before. And now it's turned into a mentorship. Um, now it's turned into lots of DMs and lots of inboxes with guys wanting to be the Queensmen. Um, and I am elated and I am ecstatic about the things that God is doing. I'm here for it. I'm walking through every door that he opens. And that's how we got started. What made you pick the name Queens, man? We voted on it. We yeah. we voted on it. We we threw a couple of we threw a couple of things out there, and 
the Queensman was what stuck. And so now, you know, we're wanting the Queensman to be a household name now. Okay. We are wanting the Queensman to always represent classy, vintage, stylist, gentlemen. And that is exactly who I have. The selection, including the temps that I have, they exude the vision, the motto, and the standard for the Queensman. And I am extremely lucky to have 10 guys that trust in my vision and 10 guys that will go to the end of the earth for me. Okay. So what made you pick this select group of guys? Anybody that you know of, why this 10 here? Why this 10 here? Um, okay. So a lot of them, you will hear them say original. They love to say, I'm the original, I'm the original. They love it. Um, so I picked Cleveland because I've walked with him before. I picked Steven because I was in Cabo and I walked in a show with him. And, you know, we just had a brief conversation, a very high and by conversation. It wasn't anything um, lasting. It wasn't anything like, oh, yeah. It, it was just kind of just kind of high and by casual conversation. Anthony Hunt is another one that I met in Cabo. I had kind of pulled him aside. I knew that him and I would do some things, but just didn't know what. Mm -hmm. um, Shamar Gay is another one who is the stylish one out of the group. And it kind of mm -hmm. started with them and then Milton Mann because I walked with them. Well, Anthony referred Cedric. And we normally don't do referrals. Guys, we do don't. we? We don't we do, do referrals. No. Nope. We do not. Um, but he not came on in as a temp. He did his thing. Um, showed us who he really was. Let us know that he was hungry. We <laughs> voted him in. Cool beans. Um, Caleb came in. I saw a picture of Caleb. It stood out. Um, and I grabbed him up. And he has been a gem, just a breath of fresh air um, sure. in the group. Um, and then I have two other new ones that are temps that we are pouring into. So again, Tracy, to be honest, I didn't go look for anyone. I just kind of sit and let God bring to me who's supposed to be in the group. It's mm -hmm. very important for us that they fit in. Mm -hmm. um, very important that they allow brothers to be brothers. Um, family is very important to us because listen, we could teach you how to walk. I could put a jacket on you and show you what to do on the runway, yeah. but I can't show you about loyalty and I can't show you about family, um, dynamic and I can't show you how to fit in. So those things are extremely important to the Queensman. Um, and we have the same values. We are really a family. We fuss and fight like a family, but we also love on one another like a family. We have powwows like a family should be. We're learning how to communicate like a family should be. So if anybody were to ask me what I think about the Queensmen, I would say they're family. Yeah. But one thing about it, having what you guys are, you know, guys or girls, no matter how big your group is, is one thing to have that communication, but also to stick with each other, no matter what is going on. Cause you never know what is somebody is going through. And you guys seem to be gelling really well. So let's talk about that gelling really well. <laughs> um, <laughs> we, we do gel very well. Yeah. Yeah. But my guys work, yeah. they work like they, <laughs> They all want a top spot, but they know that it takes work and it's a progress to get there. Mm. So they put the work in. I don't have any guy that does not put the work in. Um, they understand that we are a group. There's no separation. You either take all 10 of us or you don't take any of us. That's yeah. how it works. I don't lend them out. I don't say, oh, you can have two or three. I don't. It's either all of us or none of us. Mm -hmm. um, and I am glad that we are, be I'm glad that we're buzzing in the fashion industry. I'm glad that they are known for being very respectful. Um, I've never heard anybody say anything negative about the Queensmen. So the dynamic uh, is a little intimidating because mm -hmm. it's only one of me. So I have to learn, uh, I have to learn 10 
communication styles for 10 different men. But it's only one of me, so they only have to learn one communication style with me. Mm -hmm. um, and I can honestly say that we are learning one another. We're growing together. We're loving on one another. We're learning one another. And it's nothing but, it's listen, it's nothing but nowhere to go but the top from here. We all the way up. We all the way up. Okay. So what is the, the main goal for everybody when it comes to the Queen's Men? My goal, my goal for the Queensmen is to have them on the big screen, to have them in television, to have them on billboards, to have people requesting for them, um, for Michael Kors to pick them up, Calvin Klein underwear commercials. Um, I really want our group to be more known internationally than nationally. So I am looking at more international stuff for us to do. Um, and we always want to stand out being classy, being vintage, gentlemen. What you fellas? Did I, did I do y'all proud, guys? Did I do y'all proud? You did I do y'all proud? You did, you did. Good job. You did, you did. Good job. Good job, brother. Tom. Tom, welcome. Welcome Dr. to the Tom, chat. Tom, what's up, Tom? Dr. Tom. <laughs> what's up, Tom? I recently just met so Tom. So Tom is one of our... Tom is yeah, Tom is one of our newer guys. Um, I have a model sister that was extremely impressed with him. Uh, he came to a model call, almost got left because I was ready to leave. But she convinced me that he would blow the socks off of me. Um, he walked for me a couple of times. I gave him some tips. He did what I asked him to do. Um, we brought him to... Um, Raleigh, I think it was an Airbnb that we were at. We invited him to a show, came back from the show, kind of sat down, talked with him, asked him if he wanted to be a temp. He was ecstatic. And so Tom is now one of our newest temps that we have as well. Okay. So we're after fellas. What does it mean to you guys to be a Queens man? Here we go. <laughs> well, for me, if I was going to for me, it would be the fact that uh, this is what I've been looking for. This is what I've been I've been modeling for four years, a little over four years now, and I spent my first three years looking for something just like this. I'm looking for you, you invest in yourself, do what you have to do to get your name out there and get yourself started, and you, you always look for that big break. You always look for that big break. And like Ivan has said, we, we in Cabo, we didn't really talk that much, but when she called me about the Queensman, I could tell when she talked. I could tell when I met her, she was about this. So I could tell when she talked to me, it was like, okay, this is this is something serious. This is not just some other photographer or manager like, hey, let me manage you. I'm let me let me do this with you, that, whatever else. And you never see any results from it. So uh just the way she talked to me, so I was like, nah, I think this this is this is it right here. So uh I told her I was definitely down for it and he took off with it, and I was like, "Yeah, this is the right one." So, being a Cleveland to me, it's like this is what I've been looking for. This is this is my catapult to where I want to be. To getting on the big screen, getting on TV, getting on billboards. Now. I just was talking about you know making. It. We haven't been to haven't been together over a year yet. I don't believe we've already it's been a year. Been in it's been a year. It's about a year. So it, we've we've been uh, international already. So it's like from nothing to national here. Yeah, she's on it. So I'm like, plus she's, the, the thing that got me when she told me is like, okay, what I want for you guys is time out for you to be modeling for gift bags. You're not doing that anymore. You're going to put some coins in your pocket. So if you're doing the work, she can pay for it. And I'm like, never heard that before. I've heard my <laughs> say, let me put some money in my pocket. But I've never said, heard a man tell me, let me put money in your pocket. So I was like, okay, she's for real. So, yeah, this is the the group, the break. This is this is what I'm looking for the capital where I want. It. Right. For me, good job. Uh, for me, what what it means to be a queen's man? It, it, it really. Um, I've been in an industry for a while. It paid off for me, and I was about to just give up on the entire thing of um, 
being model, uh, being a model basically, because I was going more for television. I've been in Black Adam. I've been in Tyler Perry studio. So I was about to give up on the entire modeling stuff. If you notice, I'm not. You know me, Tracy. I've been I've been one of the male models in the triangle for the longest while. The one of the only one. So, um, so when Avanet approached me about this um, opportunity, I was like, oh, let me just do this one last time. And this one <laughs> last time turned into a year. So it's been an amazing year. Um, it's been like I've been in the industry. I've, it's paid off for me. I've been on Billboard. I've been in New York Times Square. I've been in Georgia. I've been I've been everywhere, so but I was ready to give up on that part of my um, journey as a, a male model. And um, the thing about this group that impressed me is the, um, the brothership, the brotherhood that we have. Um, it's hard to find a group of men that has the same um, thinking and the same goal as you want because you you know and everybody on this call know the industry is very messy sometimes but to find a group of people that has the same intention it's an amazing feeling and um so and she approached me like oh let me just do it for her because i respect women to the highest level so um i did it and i'm here after a year so and we get paid for stuff and travel around the world so nothing new to me but it's good to be in a position where you know it's happening for real so Right. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. Clearly, you're the only model, male model that I've seen in the triangle. I've looked for male models for a long time. For years, for years. I was like, my Lord, I worked with you first. Like, where are the guys? Where are the guys? Like, I don't know. I was like, I was surprised because I moved here in 2016 and my career actually picked up tremendously from here. This is where I became Mr. Um, Fashion, North Carolina, International. So I, it's crazy. Yeah. So what do you guys have next on your agenda coming up? Oh, a lot. Um, <laughs> it can it, 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 it because as we're not full time models and actors yet, um, there's a lot going on. Like we have, I don't know we have um. Um, our TV show coming on. We have a lot of photo shoot. We are ambassador for domestic violence, and um, there's a lot going, a lot of good things going on. We have our mentorship program also for um, young men. We so have a, we're headlining on a cruise ship. Hey, yeah. that's cruise men cruise ship. So brace yourself. Just take a moment to in the cruise men, the queens men cruise ship. All right, yeah. so. Uh, we got a lot, go a lot of good things going on, and we, are we, and uh, more to come that we can't really talk about because of um, NDAs and stuff. So, All right. so I'd like to, uh, Tracy. I'd like to know what some of the other guys think it means to be a queen's. <laughs> okay, go, let's go for it, Krellis. Oh, I'll go first. <laughs> I'll go first. I'll go first. All right. So, uh, what it means to be a queen's? Uh, it means to me, um, it puts you on a standard not above anybody but it sets your moral character up to be high so it, it, it creates a, a place where you need to be up and, and approachable and professional um and and like the queen said classy vintage stylish gentleman um gentleman. you take that approach with you everywhere you go um and then you attach that title to your name as a queensman oh people are gonna look at you like oh Oh, you come in with some respect. Okay, I can my I can work with you. I can I can do some more things than just this one little thing and put you in this box. So, um, just to go off of that, to to be a Queensman, I think, um, for me, uh, just like Cleveland, it, I was in different groups. Um, I, I've been in different places as a model. I've been modeling for over ten years. So, for me to be a part of a group, just like Cleveland said, that had we all had the same mindset um, and trying to get places and go somewhere. It's hard to find that, um, and especially with males. Um, everybody know, well, not everybody because the queen's on here, but all the males know all, men have pride. Men have egos. So to to have a group of us and to let, make it mesh is it, just a wonderful yeah, thing. Um, as they said before, like, I see us going places and 
I don't I don't feel like we're stopping. We're just starting. It's just been a year. So we got plenty more things to do, plenty more places to go, a lot more people to come see us so we can show off um, because we're going to leave all the smoke. Um, and that's what we bring to the table. We're going to leave all the smoke on the stage. Burn it down. <laughs> Tracy, I think Tracy, I think they used to think I just sat around and twiddled my thumbs like doo doo doo, but they don't think that no more. They don't. No, I think I have some daddies. That's what I thought. <laughs> Tracy, every time I get a new Queensman. Stephen and Cleveland are like she pregnant again. Oh my god! Gosh, go ahead. Who is the daddy now? Right. Oh my god! They hate it. They 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 be like she pregnant again, y'all again. So it's just it's a running joke every time I bring somebody into the into the into the crew. Who's the father now? Who's the father now? That's a running joke. Who's the father now? So what's been the best experience that you guys been on? For me, it's been several. Like, my one of my favorite was L.A. Like, we were at Venice, Venice Beach, right? Venice Beach is called it. Gosh. Yeah. On Monday, that beach is full. What did you do? Like, like... It was an amazing experience for me because I was born in South America. I lived in the UK also. To see that on TV and to be there, it's just like, wow, it's happening. Like, I've never thought modeling or anything would have brought me that far. I've lived in the UK, so I've been to the UK, I've been to Paris, all this stuff. So, But that was like, wow. Monday, we were sitting on the beach, toes in the sand, like, watching the the trees and it was like and the beach is full like what do these people do how can i get this lifestyle like monday morning <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, really cool because i only saw it on tv and this that was really really amazing it was like a, close to hollywood like an hour away from hollywood so and a lot of movies i see there so that was really a really like small town boy doing his thing in a big city so that's that was for me with the group at least Yeah, my favorite. My favorite was uh, I love L.A. and I love being on the beach. But uh, I have to say, I love every time I go to New York. Every time we go to New York, I love it. Always something new. You, you land in a different place, or you live in a different place, or you go down a different road. You see a whole new different. Place. It, I just love New York. I love the excitement of being. Um, oh, for me, well, I got two. Um, but just to go off of what the guys just said, L.A. was definitely a great one um i'm just mad at them because they dropped me off at the airport and then went to the beach I'm, i don't i'm i don't know how that happens but um <laughs> that's neither here nor there <laughs> that's neither here nor there but i mean um no nah, uh la was my first uh my first show with the guys so la was probably one of my favorites but the last one we did in London is probably my all-time favorite for right now. Um, we just we just had a ball. Like I'm not even talking about the extra stuff that we did while we was there. The actual mm -hmm. show was immaculate. I, I, you, I, 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 bilingual. you know, I'm, I'm not, not bilingual. I'm not. trilingual. He's I try. I'm trilingual. He's you know, because you know I speak multiple <laughs> languages, trying but to you know. Be Trying to be bilingual. He's not trying. To, he's not. <laughs> French. French. What? French. What? I'm British, French, English, and all that. British English, uh, Haitian, um, Spanish. Don't forget Spanish. Um, of course English. You know, but um, you know. I can't. I can't. I, I, can't, I, can't. I can't. You know. What? Now I'm back in. Uh, I'm not back in London anymore. So it, it kind of hurts my soul. Um, uh, but it's all right, mate. It's all right. We can go along. I can't. I can't anymore. <laughs> uh, for me for me Tracy I think um, two experiences that I've had with the Queensmen that I absolutely loved was um, last year 
when we were in Raleigh for our holiday, our first holiday getaway. Ooh, I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. The photo shoot was the bomb. Yeah. Um, I cooked for the guys for the first time. We exchanged gifts. We kind of got close. For me, I love that type of family time. So that to me was um, priceless. <laughs> and then London. London was one of the best shows we've ever done. Um, the crowd was different. Uh, the people were different. Um, it was a packed show. So London was. In Tennessee for our Christmas getaway, or we may do a Christmas gala. I'm not quite sure, but wherever we are, we're going to always have a good time together. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you never go to Tennessee, I'll definitely say Gatlinburg is a good place to go to. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're thinking about some cabins in Gatlinburg, mm -hmm. or um, I'm also thinking about doing an end of the year celebration, uh, black tie gala affair with mm -hmm. the Queens. I'm thinking about doing that too. Yeah. So I haven't quite made up my mind because. We got some stuff going on, so I haven't made up my mind. But definitely our first Christmas getaway with you as our photographer. Listen, the holiday photos, God, remember? We had a great time. Yeah, yeah. And the photo was shoot great. was great. It was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the yeah. food was good, too. Ever yeah. been, so you got to do that again. Yeah. If you ever been to Myrtle Beach, Myrtle, Gatlinburg is basically like Myrtle Beach without the ocean. You just uh -huh. you stay in order, you got the yes. mouths. Yeah, so that, I, I like going oh, to yeah. Gatlinburg. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, with you guys basically traveling the world doing these fashion shows, compare it to the fashion shows you have here local. What are the, some of the things that stand out compared to doing other shows? Stop laughing. Stop laughing. Because <laughs> <laughs> I want to see what they're going to say because we talk about we talk about larger scale shows and local shows often. So, I'm, mm. I'm really interested to see what the Queen's been going to say about that, some of these differences. Let me go first because I've been um, from the highest to the lowest, I think. Um, and it, it's for me, I don't I don't want to offend anybody locally, but I really don't do local anymore. I'll do it based on what you're doing and um, what it is for. Um, I did my dues as a model locally. Now I'm international. Um, there's certain standards that I have for myself personally and the group also. So I built, I look at who I'm walking for, what am I doing and what the cause is for now. Because I remember starting in the industry where it, like, I do not despise small beginnings, but there's a standard when it comes to my career. I've been in it long enough. You can Google me, I tell people and you'll see my resume. So that's all. So there's a standard for me. I'm comparing from local to international. So that's just all I have to say, not offending anybody, but there's a standard I set for myself as a model. Okay. Cool beans, cool beans. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna ask you guys this question. This one here I like to call the elephant in the room. And basically what the elephant in the room is, it's always something that goes on at a fashion show or at a photo shoot that nobody talks about publicly, but it's always a back conversation. What is something that stands <laughs> out that needs to be changed in the industry for <laughs> fashion shows or doing a photo shoot with certain people? <laughs> Who will go first? I <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be it's you have uh things uh I love it when things are organized. Mm -hmm. When we come in, we know where where we're going, where you know how many sessions we're gonna have, how many times we're gonna run go walk the runway. Because when we get there, everything that we have is set. We we, we rehearse, we've we, 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 we set. But when you get there and they're like, Okay, Who's gonna go first? Well, I don't know yet, but let me figure out this person. Let me find out. I think y'all gonna be over here, or maybe y'all gonna be over here. Final place for y'all to change, but maybe it was like, nah, have that set. I mean, it's what 
going to be. This is where the other guy's going to be for the late. This is where you're going to walk in and come back out. This is where we're done. But a lot of times you get there. You know, very few times they're like that. The nice, the nice professional shows that we're doing now are pretty much like that. But a lot of some of them, you know, you do it like, well, uh, so and so them gonna get here in a little while and they'll figure out where you where you supposed to set up and so like it's like oh. this <laughs> it's it's cool when you like a show and you, it's just you and your cousin out in the backyard that's that's fine but when it's like people pay twenty thirty forty fifty dollars to get in here to see us have your stuff together that's that's just my little that's that's a small thing for me. All right. but in the Queensman defense. <laughs> In the Queen's defense, Tracy, uh -huh. I, each one of them on here will tell you I have already scoped that out. I have already had a spot for them, and that's where we're going to be. Like, very seldom do we walk into something not knowing anything. I try my best to be very organized, to give them all of the information. We've rehearsed the night before. So when we come in, all we're doing is coming in to show you about the Queensman. Um, because I don't work well when things are out of order. I don't. Yeah. Or when yeah. they're unorganized. And so I try not to have things unorganized for them. The night before, listen, when they snoring, I'm up ironing. And they will tell mm -hmm. you that. Uh -huh. When they when they chill when they chilling, I'm up putting their stuff together. I'm up putting their stuff in their garment bags. When they walk out of whatever Airbnb or whatever hotel that we're in, they are in Queensman mode from the moment they walk out of that door to the moment we walk back out of that show. Um, so I try very hard to have things very organized. So typically things are very settled for us because I asked probing questions to the show producer prior to so that I can have a good understand, a good idea of how many sets they want, how many times my guys need to change, if we can do a little razzle dazzle in the show. So, and all of that is just a part of the hat that I wear. When you guys mm -hmm. say so, like, don't y'all think I kind of, I'm a little See, organized for y'all? Yeah. He does. The queen does. She takes care of that for us. But under normal circumstances, on a, just a regular show, regular, he wasn't there. He'd be like, "Okay, <laughs> we're gonna put y'all because uh, 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 we we've done that before, where we had to, where she had to come in and straighten stuff out. Because it's like we're gonna put y'all in this little bathroom. All eight of y'all gonna change in here." And she's like, "No, no, no my guys are not changing. We we're gonna take this room over here. This is what we're gonna do. We're not doing that." So to have a uh, creative director, a manager, a person taking care of you like that, that's the difference between being not a Queensman and being a Queensman. So, yeah, she does that. But if you go walk in there she by yourself it. or just as a regular model, you ain't no telling what you're allowed to walk into. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell you why you was laughing, so what What? What you was laughing about? <laughs> All right. Um... Much, uh, uh, pretty much the same thing, pretty much. But um, just to go off, go off a little bit from it. Um, I just I don't like when um, <laughs> I don't like when it's disorganized, as in a sense of like designers don't have their stuff done, so they have to put stuff together and make stuff up, and then make this work for an outfit and it doesn't fit you or it doesn't work right, but they want you to wear it. Um, I don't like that. I don't like to be uh, put in a small area. Um, pretty much what, what Steven was saying, like, um, I, I don't like to be like, all right, y'all men are over here. All the women got all of this and y'all just do what y'all got to do right here and get y'all stuff together and it's it's 10 of us over here and it's a small area yeah i don't like that i it just doesn't make sense to me um we all models um uh, we all got to change so <laughs> but um yeah that, that's that's pretty much about it i, I don't want to go too too deep <laughs> i don't want to go too deep <laughs> but that's never bad like for me, I don't. No, nobody likes that, but I will go with the flow because it's industry. Like you, I just know how to adjust myself in that situation because, like, like sometimes, like, 
I've been in fashion, high fashion, high, high fashion, fashion shows where literally everybody's crumped in a room and it's just a mm -hmm. blanket. So I've learned to just go with the flow, but I don't like it, but it's just the industry and just got to do your thing. Like it's crazy. Mm -hmm. I've done quick change more quicker than I have I, no like seconds. Walk in and walk out literally at a box and people are crowded in that little box and just, so it's just, yeah, that's the elephant in the room, I guess. But who like, I, I don't think no model likes that. But Tracy, I'm gonna tell you, I, I am approached a lot with this question and it goes along with the elephant in the room question. <laughs> I am approached all the time with, oh, I know you're so glad you do guys because the women, they will give you a hard time, I say. Lies. And the queen's men are bougie. So, <laughs> like, they bougie. So, they give me they give me a hard time just like, like the women would. Like, well, they have their expectations are your just space? like the women. The only difference, Tracy, is I don't have to have a, a MUA going. But other than that, these queen's men are bougie. Let me be clear. They you bougie. need a good barber. You need a good barber. That's all you need. <laughs> <laughs> that's it but they are sometimes i just shake my head like y'all yeah, just go get some women because these men about to drive me crazy and I just, uh, but they bougie tracy yeah they are you see you see you see them? they bougie yeah mm -hmm. oh and, an and another thing tracy I, I don't like when people models whoever they are come harass my queen and asking her to put her in, put them in something because she got some nice stuff. Those are our clothes. That's for us to wear. I, I don't like it. Guys, <laughs> I got some. Go red. Go red. Yeah. I can't, I can't discriminate, Kate. I can't discriminate, Tracy. If I bring some extra stuff, then I will put some guys in extra stuff. And typically, I'll let them walk out first because the queen's been got a little razzle-dazzle with them, and I can't mix the two. But if I have something extra, I will. Um, we were in L.A., and, of course, uh, the women were coming up and asking if I had something, and I said, no, I only do males. And there was one lady, Tracy, that said, you can put me in a man's suit, and she absolutely rocked it did she not guys yeah, she yeah. rocked it what up Smiley? i love it i i loved it um you know I, I i love the fact that she didn't mind putting on um a man suit went up there she rocked it and now yeah, you know yeah. she is a part of the model that's coming on the cruise and she talks to some of the guys often um she just thanked me because i gave her opportunity so you know She's almost known as the first princess, I guess. She would be princess, right? The first princess of the Queens, I guess. But, but we woman. love her. We love yeah. her. We love her. Well, she's cool. Mm -hmm. She is. She is. Where the cruise cool. you got coming up? Where is it going to? Um, shout out to the Queens, man. God gave me a vision in November to headline my guys. We are leaving for West Palm Beach. The cruise is from June 2nd to June 4th. The destination is the Bahamas. We have a Bahamas photo shoot that we will be doing. Okay. Our featured designer is Earl Bannister from Baltimore, Maryland. We have um, At Once Design. Tasha will be there. We have Heavy Ever her. After. She is from Charleston, South Carolina. We have Finn Fatale Fashion. She is a swimwear designer. We have Law, which is a urban wear designer. So... The cruise is taking off. I've sold over 85 cabins, which is 160 people. The venue on the boat holds 200. I told God I would settle for 110. He told me to expect the overflow. I'm now at 160. I'm expecting this event to be standing room only. I have um, two media teams. It will be streamed live. We have lots of interviews. We have lots of podcasts that's going to be on there. The Queensman. Um will have their own platform. Um, I've had a love and relationship TV show producer that has reached out to me that asked if he could bring the contestants from his TV show to put them in a different environment on the boat. 
So mm-hmm. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Um, everybody is just coming to see the Queensman. They hearing about the Queensman, so they want to know what's all this buzzing about the Queensman. So they gonna have to show up. They gonna have to show up. They already know. Um, I'm ecstatic. I- I'm ecstatic about it. Cause you don't hear very much about fashion on the seas. You don't you don't hear a lot about that. So yes. I invite anybody. Listen, we are gonna have a good time. We're going on that boat. Gonna stay on that boat. We're gonna have a good time. <laughs> I have over I have over twenty four registered models at this point. That does not include ten of the Queensmen. So yeah. shout out to the Queensmen for trusting my vision. Shout out to the Queensmen for getting on this boat, showing the people what they about. Um, I have one of the Silver Foxes. If y'all know about the Silver Fox Squad, I got one of the Silver Foxes that's coming on the cruise. Um, I have some spoken word. Yeah, so, you know, just great connections, like Tom said, good networking. Um, and my guy's going to be sharp. Earl Bannister, feature designer, is coming to clothe them in his handmade garments. So we are expecting overflow. I am expecting it to be standing room only. I'm expecting this to be an annual thing for the Queensmen. Listen, Tom Joyner had to start somewhere. Steve Harvey had to start somewhere. And Avenir Crystal is starting somewhere too. Hey, yeah. Yeah. What cruise line you want, sir? We are going on Margaritaville at sea. Um, like I said, it leaves out of West Palm Beach on June 2nd. It docks at the Bahamas on June 3rd. We have our Bahamas photo shoot on the beach. We get back on the boat. The show starts at six o'clock, and we're gonna be rocking and mo- rolling. The theme is smooth sailing. That's the theme. Okay. Yeah, that's, that was. I, I, I didn't see your flyer to after I put mine out. I think I, my crew goes out. My crew goes well, out uh, a month before yours do. I know. I know. Yeah. yeah but you know, but, Tracy, we love you, so we we will collaborate. <laughs> Um, and do whatever it is you need for us to do. We love you. Yeah, you, you. You're doing a lot more of your crew than I plan on doing, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> my my, my thing right? is go that's to the beach and is? do a photo shoot. That's it. Listen, the cabins, or, you know, the cabins, um, Ocean View cabin is four sixty nine for two people. Mm-hmm. An interior cabin is three ninety nine. All you can eat, all you can drink. Except for alcoholic packages, they have alcoholic packages on there. Yeah. You have the excursions. We're gonna get off the boat as a family. We're gonna to tour the island. We're gonna do our Bahamas photo shoot. We're gonna build our portfolio, and then we're gonna get back on that boat and do what the Queensman came to do. Okay, I will say you go to Bahamas and you don't do a skirt. You you want to tour the island. There's a cab driver there that by the name of Shoe Shine. Okay, he's also a rapper. Okay. He'll tell, you, he'll tell you quick and hurry. He met the brat. So yeah, he, he, he's, <laughs> he's he's a great tour guy for for that for the island out there. Okay. The Bahamas. So, so look, look for shoe shine. You can just take a cab a cab around him okay. and his, his wife. Yeah, great okay. great people out there. Yeah. All right. Well, other than that, anything else you guys got coming that you want to feel the crowd in on before I let you go? The queen done told it all. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I guess I think I'm supposed to be telling it all. So yeah, you you more than a promoter. You're 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 not more than a manager. You're, you're basically like they're everything that they need in one package. Yeah, exactly. She yes, is, she is. She whips this yeah. also, you know. Hail to the queen. <laughs> Hail to the queen. Uh-oh. Didn't I say Queensman business is Queensman business? <laughs> Queensman business is Queensman business. <laughs> Domestic violence and back. We're, we're, we're a family and she takes care of us. So we definitely should have seen guys that are always taking care of her. So yeah. See us out. Don't make the queen. She got guards around her. So you got to watch yourself. Yeah. Oh, that's not true, Tracy. Listen, listen. <laughs> listen. Yeah. Like we are family. We are. We're just, you know, we like a normal family. We love on each other. We encourage one another. We fuss. Yeah. We fight. We get back together. We make up. We forgive. We fuss and we fight. We are just mm. a regular family. Um, I love the family dynamic. 
I love these guys. I try to tell them as much as I can that I need them just as much as they need me. Um, and I don't think they understand the capacity that they're helping me. They don't, um, but they do. They, they cause me to, they cause me to stay in my feminine energy while I have to manage and balance being rough and tough with them. Mm -hmm. Like, cause it's, it's, listen, it's 10 of them. So I have to kind of be a little rough and tough with them sometimes, maybe too rough and tough, but they forgive me. They tell me about it. I ask for forgiveness and we keep it moving. Um, we are all about accountability in this family, all yeah. about accountability right. in this family. So we pray together. Some of us cry together. Um, we're getting to know one another as we journey. And like I said, we just, it's nothing but up from here. And the piggyback off, of that, piggyback off of that, I just wanted to uh, give a shout out to the brothers that aren't on the show right now. Um, just, I just want to say what's up to all of y'all, and you know, I can't wait to see and meet everybody back again, and uh, and, and be intertwined with everybody again. Like, um, I know Tom didn't say too much, and he came a little bit late, but man, I'm glad to see you on here, Tom, uh, Nick. Uh, M Milton, Shamar, and you know mm. all the guys, man. I miss all of y'all. Um, yeah, and it's always good. Yeah, Brandon, all of y'all, all of y'all. I can't wait to see y'all again. I'm glad we did this right now. Mm. And one thing I will say, when back when we did uh, the Christmas shoot, I had so many people come up and ask me what's going on. Most of the most of the ladies was trying to figure out what was going on, why y'all had so many men standing up there like y'all were security guards. <laughs> <laughs> I said, the thing. They, they, they normally think we're a singing group. I know y'all can sing. I say, we can't, we don't sing. Yes, you do. We don't, we don't, we don't sing. Yep. We don't sing as a strippers. Can't have to <laughs> they think yeah. we either singers or strippers, Tracy. One of the two. I say we're not singers and we're not strippers, man. We're not. <laughs> yeah, I think they were waiting for something to happen out there where y'all standing on top of the, with the tree. They were waiting it on something to happen. happen. It, yeah. Everything that was supposed yeah. to happen happened. It did. It did. <laughs> it did. It happened. They just missed it. It happened. Right. It was nice having you guys out here today talking to you guys. Much success. To each every single one of you, um, the ones who couldn't be here, hope success to you guys too as well. Um, look forward to see what you got coming up next. Once again, if you ever need Lucas Vision Media, Lucas Vision Podcast, Lucas Vision Photography, all my Lucas Visions, um, let me know. I'm here for you guys. I am 100% glad to see brothers sticking together and doing great things. And you guys are definitely are uh, what we need to see out here not somebody out here doing drugs getting shot up y'all are actually out here doing things that people can look up to especially the kids yeah you know, very very thankful for you guys for doing that um what would the Thank podcast you. say again cleveland what would the podcast be hearing on the podcast it'll be on youtube okay. I'll, 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 once i go through the edit i'll let you know what the date will be it'll be showed on sounds like a plan um, and we want to make sure that all of your viewers and subscribers and follow us, follow the Queensmen on all social platforms, TikTok, yes. Facebook, Instagram, follow us, follow. We have great content. We, I got a great couple, a great bunch of guys. They look good. They smell good, ladies. Um, some of them are single ladies. And if anybody needs any uh -oh. information about the cruise, let us know. I would love to have the cruise sold out we want it sold out so please 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 follow us on all social platforms yeah, make sure you send the information over to us so i can put it in the descriptions below as well absolutely i will thank you what y'all laughing at what what lock king and lock prince laughing about Nothing, nothing. I just want to give a shout out to Uncle Luke, man. I appreciate appreciate you, Uncle Luke, man, for having us on here, man. Big ups to you and your platform. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. All right, guys, this is the Queen's Men and the Queen herself. Make sure you guys go follow them on all social media. I put that in the description below. Until then, I will see you guys next time. Ciao. Thank you, Tracy. We appreciate you.